Hello again, and thank you for tuning in my YouTube channel. I'm Dr. Jerry Tan. I'm a clinical endocrinologist. And this time, we're going to talk about what is the Delta variant. So if you like my video, if you have watched some of my videos, please click like, click subscribe and bell so that you can be updated of new uploads to come. So at present, the Philippines is one of the countries which has been actively vaccinating the citizens. As of June 18, 2021, the fully vaccinated population is around 2 million. One dose is around 6 million, so there's a total of around 8 million vaccinations so far. The vaccination program in our country is ongoing. One of the major concerns in spite of the vaccination nowadays, not only in our country, but also worldwide, is the emergence of a variant of concern, which is the Delta variant. So one of my subscribers actually asked in one of their comments whether I can talk more about the Delta variant. So the Delta variant, as we know, is a variant of concern, and it, is first, it was first detected in India in December of 2020, and so far it has already spread throughout the world. Now, what makes this a variant of concern compared to the other variants is the fact that first, it does not present with the typical symptoms in terms of loss of smell or fever. And most of those patients who suffer from a Delta variant infection will complain of a bad cold and a headache, a sore throat and runny nose, of which aren't usually linked with COVID-19, which we know of. Now, one of the defining features of Delta variant has been the fact that it has enhanced transmissibility, wherein it increases transmission by as much as 40 to 60% above that compared to the usual alpha variant of COVID-19. In fact, evidence so far suggests that the Delta played a large role in the surge of COVID-19 cases observed in India in 2021. And since then, this variant has spread globally. So that as of June 14, the Delta variant has already been detected in 74 countries, accounting for 90% of the new cases in the United Kingdom, and at least 6 to 10% of cases in the United States. So one concern among most patients, how effective are the COVID vaccines against this Delta variant? So far, there's optimism because data suggests that the vaccination that we have right now provides some protection against infection and hospitalization with the Delta variant. In fact, early analysis from the United Kingdom about the vaccine effectiveness has provided some good news in the sense that the data from Scotland indicated that the vaccination, although reduced in effectiveness, but it reduced hospitalizations and infections. Why is this of concern to us in the Philippines? It is of great concern because after the rising COVID cases that threatened Indonesia, with a deadly surge dominated by the Delta variant. Remember, Indonesia, like the Philippines, has been vaccinated mostly by Sinovac. It is not that it is our choice, but this is the vaccine that was actually purchased by the Philippine government and therefore was the only vaccine available during the time of the vaccination campaign was started in the Philippines. And in fact, I was vaccinated with Sinovac because I believe that the best vaccine is whatever vaccine available on hand. 
The concern started more recently when uh, the Straits Times reported that more, more than 350 doctors, medical workers in Indonesia, out of 5,000, got infected with COVID-19 after two dose vaccinations. So what is important here is that 350 out of 5,000 medical workers who were given Sinovac got breakthrough infections. And this is this of concern. What we know of is that if you look closely at the data, 350 doctors out of 5,000 who were given Sinovac. Remember, vaccines, whether we're talking about Pfizer, we're talking about Moderna, do not protect us 100%. It's basically more than 90% protection against hospitalization and severe disease. So if you look at this preliminary data that we got from reports, 350 out of 5,000, that's approximately 7% of the 5,000 doctors given the Sinovac got infected. So what does that mean? It means 93% of the doctors who were given Sinovac are protected against the Delta variant. So preliminary data therefore clearly sees that this is true to real world data. That is whatever vaccines so far, more than 90% protection against severe disease. But of note, of those 350 doctors who got breakthrough infections after Sinovac vaccinations actually were noted to be asymptomatic. And in fact, they are being isolated only at home. And only 10 doctors are being hospitalized because of fever. So this is for me, not really a cause of alarm because instead of saying 90% protection, they said 350 doctors were infected. If you look at the effectiveness of other COVID-19 vaccines against this variant, whether it's Pfizer or AstraZeneca, in this test negative case control design a paper on all cases sequenced in England, clearly you can see here that AstraZeneca has 88 to 80% effectiveness, 88% effectiveness against alpha variant, while 80% effectiveness against the Delta variant. In contrast to a, a Pfizer vaccine, there's a 92% effectiveness against alpha variant and a 94% against Delta variant. So clearly, whether it's the vaccine, whatever vaccines you use, there's still protection, whether we're talking about alpha or Delta variant. So when you speak of surge of cases, it's not due to the vaccine, it's due to the variant. In fact, in one PHE study awaiting peer review, efficacy ex against symptomatic disease from Delta variant for Pfizer was only 36% after one dose, but it rose to 88% after the second dose, meaning full protection, whether we're talking about alpha variant or Delta variant, you need the two doses. So for those of you who haven't completed the full schedule of vaccination, please do get your second dose. If you also closely looked at what happened to the Delta variant outbreaks in Israel, remember Israel is one of those who have been fully vaccinated and Israel is mostly Pfizer where there is 88% efficacy for Delta in one study. There's again a new outbreak in 44 kids at the middle school of Israel. Several fully vaccinated adults have also been infected at school, showing that vaccine breakthrough continues, whatever vaccine that have been injected in most of the patient population. But what is clear in this Delta variant surge is that 10%, for example, of all COVID-19 hospitalizations in United Kingdom, despite more than 50% of adults who are fully vaccinated, came from the Delta variant. And if you look closely, only 10% were breakthrough infections from individuals who got full two-dose 
of the vaccine. But 65% of those admitted and hospitalized were unvaccinated, showing that there should be a strong command to everyone to please vaccinate. Now, in our country, if you look at the uh, Philippine Genome Center biosurveillance report so far, we only have remaining one active Delta variant uh, COVID case. 15 have already recovered and one died. Meaning, at present, we don't have any community transmission yet of the Delta variant. So what does this mean for us who have been fully vaccinated? How do we live now with this caution from COVID-19 Delta variant? So again, I've said virtually all hospitalized COVID patients with Delta variant have one thing in common. They're unvaccinated. So it is very important that we appeal again to most of our friends, Filipinos, and our patients to get vaccinated and yes, you do weigh the risk. Remember, being fully vaccinated still allows you a lot of liberties in terms of masking and in terms of gathering and activities with people you enjoy doing. However, right now, there is uh, an appeal to everyone that because of this surge of Delta variant, that if you're going to be in a large gathering with people you don't know, and don't know their vaccine status, those are the instances where we will continue to advise masking be of your benefit. A lot of spread of the Delta variant is among those who are not vaccinated. So it is very critical that we urge people without their shots or partial shots to take COVID-19 precautions seriously, especially now the threat of the Delta variant. So with that, again, thank you for listening. I'm Dr. Jerry Tan. I hope to see you again soon.